we've been doing a piece of scrutiny work looking at the Olympic legacy and loads has been written about the Olympics and its legacy. What we're particularly interested in is the finances of what happens afterwards in areas that people haven't looked into in very great detail. And so uh, what we found, for example, is that the London Development Agency is about to be abolished. Um, the land is about to be handed over to another agency, but there'll be something like 300 million pounds of unpaid debts that need to be funded from somewhere. What we've also found is that there are quite a lot of boundary issues, you might call them, where it's not clear who's responsible for what, and we need to sort that out. Uh, and we're going to follow up this work in the new year with a more detailed look at some of the more um, challenging questions about who funds what, who's responsible for what, and uh, uh, whether there are some bits that have been missed out in the mayor's uh, in the mayor's design of what he wants to do next with the Olympics. Um, I think everyone assumes the Olympic legacy is uh, cut and dried, but the reality is there's a lot of detail that hasn't been properly sorted out yet, and uh, if we get it wrong, then people in East London, but Londoners as a whole, could be disadvantaged by that.